Hi, it's Joel. And Antonia. From Personality Hacker. Wanted to record a quick video audio for you to talk about a coming season of our Personality Quest membership. We're going to be looking at all of the 16 personality types, and we're going to talk each week, once a week, we're going to look at one of the types and talk about how does this personality type love itself? Like, how does an ENF, I have ENFP preferences. So in ENFP week, we're going to talk about how does an ENFP love themselves? Like, how can we love ourselves using a personality type and the framework of our type, our car model, our driver, co-pilot, 10-year-old, three-year-old, how do we use that as a model of looking at the self and saying, I want to show myself love? Yeah. There's a an algorithm that we talked about in the first episode of the series that makes sure that it's a it's honest yeah. self-appreciation. It's not, I mean, our theory is that we love ourselves no matter what, but it's removing obstacles and obstructions to feeling that. And a lot of times it's because we're either going too hard on ourselves in some way and beating ourselves up for, you know, because we think we're supposed to, uh, or it's going too easy on ourselves and then being disappointed with the outcome. Yeah. And what's fabulous about this little formula or ag- algorithm is that it uses the four Jungian cognitive functions, like you said, the car model, as a way to ensure that we're setting reasonable expectations, no matter what our personality type is. And that we can find an access point to really having self-confidence and really having a sense of self-worth and self-value uh, to, to be able to feel that love that we're already trying to express to ourselves. And so, yeah, I'm, um, I'm really excited about this series. I think, it's, uh, I think it's a good one. Yeah. So the point of this, uh, obviously in the podcast, to get the podcast out, but we also, the point of our Personality Quest membership is to find an access point for you to apply some of the things we talk about on this podcast to your own life. If you're a podcast listener, you've been watching our YouTube channel, you've been part of this, you know we're all about getting things into action, actually making a real change in your life. We believe that true learning equals behavior change. So we were thinking, okay, what's the best way to take something we're already doing, which is the podcast, and make it even more powerful in your life? Well, what what happens if we take a small clip from the podcast, we gather a group of like minds together on a live Zoom call, we play that clip, about 10, 15 minute clip, so we're not going to play the whole podcast, we look at that it creates a conceptual frame for us to talk about. So it opens up a topic, right? And we all love, if you've listened to this podcast, you probably have had a moment listening where you're like, oh, I wish I could talk to somebody about this. I wish I could share what's coming up for me in this concept or this understanding. So we open up it, open it up conceptually. We talk about it as a group. And then we go a little deeper. We we have breakout rooms in the Zoom call where you can talk to other like minds, small groups. So everybody gets a chance to express about what's coming up for them. You don't just have to sit there and passively listen. You get to share with a couple other people. You get to meet new friends. You get to express yourself. You get to share what's coming up for you. And then we go even deeper in the call. We go, and this is by like in a 90 minute time frame, right? It's very short, but it's very high impact. We ask you a journal prompt question after the breakout rooms, hear from a couple of people, we go into journaling and we ask you, okay, how do you see this in relation to yourself? How do you see this in your life showing up? Like tune into your journal and make some notes for yourself. As soon as we capture that, we come back, talk a little bit about it, and then we give a quest for the week. Something just a basic thing for you to go and test this concept, test this idea, take some action in your life and see the results of it. Hmm. 90 minutes in and out, watching content, connecting with people. Right now we're meeting at 1145 on Sundays, Eastern time, AM. Uh, And it's a great, it's a great 90 minutes. A lot of people like it because it can kind of keep this cadence of the week. If you want to be part of this, which you should be, if you're already listening to our podcast to make this real in your life, head over to personalityhacker.com forward slash quest. You can go ahead and sign up for the membership. It's just a low monthly subscription, you know, membership. Basically, we're trying to make this accessible to almost everybody's budget. Some of our programs have higher tuition because we put a lot into them, live events and stuff. So we wanted to find an access point for a lot of people. I think this is one of the best kept secrets of Personality Hacker. We have a group of like minds gathering and you should be part of it. So come over to personalityhacker.com forward slash quest, sign up for the membership, join us Sunday. We also do deep dives. Right now at the time of this recording, we do one deep dive a month. I'd like to add more to that. I'd like to add a book club. I'd like to add more content and other things to this membership. But right now we're meeting on Sundays and we've got a deep dive every month and you need to be part of it. If you listen to our podcast at all, you need to be part of it. It's going to really make this stuff come alive in your life. Mm. All right. Enough of my, <laughs> enough of my uh, intensity of like, yeah, you should do this. Joel Mark Witt here. Antonio Dodge. With Personality Hacker. And I hope to see you this Sunday on the Personality Quest. Talk soon.